All right, we're asked to sketch a graph of f of x on each sign chart. In part A, the sign chart is of the original function f of x. So when f of x is positive, that means its graph is above the x-axis, like this. Um, everywhere that I have dots on the x-axis, of course, that's when f of x is equal to zero. And so on the next interval, when f of x is negative, that means it has to be below the x-axis. Uh, but the original function is continuous, so it's got to stay below and somehow get back over to that x-intercept there. On the last interval, f of x is negative again, which means it's just going to continue to go down. In part b, we're asked to graph the original function again, but the sign chart, even though it looks the same, is now of the derivative. Uh, so when the derivative is positive, that doesn't mean the, the original function is above or below the x-axis. It just means that the original function is increasing over that entire interval. When the derivative is zero, that means that its tangent line is horizontal for just a second. So on this first interval, it's going to increase all the way up until we get to that point. Then it's going to flatten out for a second. On the next interval, the first derivative is negative. That means it's going to decrease over the next interval until we get to a derivative where it's zero again, which means it flattens out. On the last interval, again, it's negative. So even though it flattened out for just a second there, it's going to continue to decrease for the rest of its uh, function. So this is a possible graph of f of x.